now we will start 8.2 for 8.2 you require knowledge of that table you have to remember all the values values of all trigonometric ratios for theta is 30 degree 60 degree 45 degree 0 and 90 now see so table you should remember if you don't remember you form it within a minute and then you can take help of that table in the beginning not you should not form that permanent habit you have to remember and it's very easy to remember only you remember values of sine then cos cos will be just you remember sine 30 is cos 60 sine 60 is cos 30 like that and 10 is a ratio of both and for cosec reciprocal of sine sec reciprocal of cos and cot reciprocal of 10 so you only remember the values of sine then automatically you remember all the values of cos 10 and the reciprocal of those three functions evaluate the fall for values of cos i recall the values of sine only dekhna main karti hu first sum sin 60 into cos 30 plus sin 30 into cos 60 come on sin 60 you remember the value root 3 by 2 and sin 60 is same as cos 30 so cos 30 is also root 3 by 2 sin 30 is 1 half only I remember values of sin I need not to remember values of cos sin 30 is 1 half so sin 30 is cos 60 so cos 60 is also 1 half so it is 3 by 4 plus 1 by 2 into 1 by 2, 1 by 4. So answer is 1. <coughs> second. Second of first. 2 10 square 45 plus cos square 30 degree minus sin square 60 degree. Okay. Everybody knows 10 45 is 1. So 2 into 1 square cos 30 is sin 60 and sin 60 is root 3 by 2 so cos square 30 is root 3 by 2 whole square sin 60 is again root 3 by 2 so it is root 3 by 2 whole square this automatically gone plus and minus so what is my answer 2 into 1 square is 2 third sum of this cos 45 upon sec 30 plus cosec 30. Cos 45 is 1 by root 2, you know very well. Because cos 45 and sin 45 both are 1. Is 1 by root 2 and 10 45 is 1. Sec 30, for that you recall cos 30. Cos 30 is sin 60, right? So sin 60 is root 3 by 2. So cos 30 is also root 3 by 2. So sec 30 is 2 by root 3. Clear? Cosec 30 is reciprocal of sin 30, sin 30 is 1 up, so cosec 30 is 2 by 1. So what is my answer? 1 by root 2, here 2 plus 2 root 3 upon root 3, so root 3 will go up. Clear? So it is root 3 upon root 2 into 2 plus root 3. I write it as root 3 upon 2 root 2 into root 3 plus 1. I rationalize both n and d by root 2 into root 3 minus 1. Root 2 into root 3 minus 1. Why? To rationalize root 3 plus 1, I should multiply it by root 3 minus 1. And to rationalize root 2, I have to multiply both n and d by root 2. So twice rationalization I have done root 2 into root 3, so root 6 under root 3 minus 1. Denominator is 2 root 2 into root 2. So 2 to ja 4. And root 3 plus 1 into root 3 minus 1 is 3 minus 1. Clear? So my answer is root 6 into root 3, root 18 minus root 6 upon 4 to ja 8. But root 18 can be written as root 9 into 2. So 9 will be come out as 3 root 2 minus root 6 
upon it. This is my final answer. Most simplified answer is answer which does not require, does not contain any root, square root in denominator. Okay. Now sum number four. Sine thirty plus ten forty five minus cosec sixty. You have to remember all the values. I have provided some trick also to you. You remember that trick? Only you remember all the values of sine. Cos के लिए you take complementary angle. Tan के लिए you take ratio of sine cos. And for cot, cosec, and sec, you take reciprocal of cot, sine, and cos respectively. Now sine thirty, everybody knows one half. Tan forty five one. Cosec sixty is reciprocal of sine sixty. Sine sixty is root three by two, so it is two by root three. Clear? Clear? Denominator is. Sec thirty is reciprocal of cos thirty. Cos thirty is root three by two. So again it is two by root three. Cos sixty is one half because cos sixty is same as sin thirty. Cot forty five is one because tan forty five. I put the correct values. Now simplification. The uh, LCM is two root three. So here you will get root three plus two root three minus four. Clear? I have taken two root three is LCM. Denominator also LCM is two root three. Here you will get four plus root three plus two root three. Okay, this two root three cancel. What is left? Root three plus two root three like term. So it is three root three minus four. And denominator root three plus two root three is three root three. So four plus Three root three. Now I rationalize with three root three is greater than four, so three root three minus four, and three root three minus four. So it is three root three minus four whole square upon three root three ka square is twenty seven, and four ka square is sixteen. Twenty seven minus sixteen. So it is eleven, okay. And if I open this square, three root three ka square twenty seven, four ka square sixteen minus two ab. Two ab means two into three six four jo twenty four root three. So my answer is twenty seven and sixteen forty three minus twenty four root three by eleven. I will check. Answer at last. Fifth sum, five cos square sixty plus four sec square thirty minus ten square forty five upon sine square thirty. Plus cos square thirty is a fundamental identity. Answer is one, but अभी आपके पास वो identity नहीं है. So just now you can't. Put the value. Cos square sixty is sine square thirty, so it is one by four. Sec square thirty is one by cos square. Cos thirty is root three by two. So sec thirty is two by root three. So two by root three square. Ten square forty five. Ten forty five is one. So ten ten square forty five is one square is one. Sine square thirty is one by two cos square, and cos square thirty is root three by two cos square. So are we getting one? Five by four minus four four is just sixteen by root three minus one upon one. So LCM is four root three. Here five root three minus sixty four minus four root three. So five root three minus four root three. So it is root three. Root three minus sixty four upon four root three. You rationalize with root three. 
it is root 3 into root 3, 3 minus 64 root 3 upon 4, 3 is 12. Nothing is common. Let me check the answer. 1 for 8.2 first sum, okay? 8.2 first sum. First ka answer is 1, yes we get it. Second ka 2, yes we get it. Third ka 3 root 2 minus root 6 by 8, right? Fourth ka 43 minus 24 root 3 by 11, right? And fifth ka 67 by 12. Have I written wrong data? See 5 cos square 60 plus 4 sec square 30 minus 10 square 45. Upon this, nicho to bana gaya. Now 5 into cos 60 is 1 half. 1 half ka square 1 by 4. Sec 30, cos 30 is root 3 by 2. So sec 30 is 2 by root 3 whole square. Ah, here is 3. What mistake I have done? You under, did you realize? See, I show you. I have taken square of this, 2 to the 4, but root 3 into root 3, I have not done 3. So, all this calculation is wrong. Because I forgot, <laughs> this 2 by root 3 square is 4 by 3, and I have written 4 by root 3. See, so I should rub this. See. It is 16 by 3, okay? It was not 16 by root 3. I had taken 16 by root 3. So now my LCM is 12. 15 minus 64 minus 12. Right? It is plus, sorry, here is plus. So 15 minus 12 is 3. So it is 67 by 12. My answer is 67 by 12. It was given 67 by 12. Yes. I have not taken square of root 3. That's why it happens. Now, second sum is choose the correct option. MCQ type sum. The correct option and justify your choice hmm? and justify matlab you verify your choice is it right or wrong your choice see first 2 10 30 upon 1 plus 10 square 30. Answers given are sin 60, B is cos 60. Without justification, I can't get the answer. Orally, I can't do. See, if I put the value of 10, 30 as root 3, 1 by root 3. 1 plus 1 by 3. So it is 2 by root 3 into 3 by 4. So it is root 3 by 2. And root 3 by 2 is a value of neither 1060 nor cos 60 nor sin 30. It is a value of sin 60. So what is my answer? A. Second question. 1 minus 10 square 45 upon 1 plus 10 square 45 is equal to this. Answers are 1090, B1, C sine 45 and D0. 1045 is 1. So 1 minus 1 square is 0. Why should I bother about denominator? Numerator is 0. So, denominator is 0, so my answer is D. Third is, sin 2A, this is a very important formula in 11 science. 2 sin A, actually formula is 2 sin A into cos A. Here you are given sin 2A is 2 sin A. Is true, 
when it is not true for all a it is true when a is equal to dash alternative are 0 degree b 30 degree c 45 degree and d 60 degree sin 2a is 2 sin a sin 2a is 2 sin a is only true if I put 0 here, sin 0 is 2 times sin 0 is valid. If I put 30 here, sin 60 cannot be 2 sin 30. If I put 45 here, sin 90 is not 2 times sin 90. And if I put 60 here, then also it won't be verified. So what is the answer? 0. A is 0, then only this is possible. Fourth. 2, 10, 30. Upon 1 minus 10 square 30. First me plus tha either minus a equal to dash. A is cos 60. B is sin 60. C is 10 60. And D is sin 30. Now see, put the value. 10, 30 is 2 by, 2 into 1 by root 3. And 1 minus, 1 by root 3 whole square, so 1 by 3. 1 plus 1 by 3 ki jaga, either 1 minus 1 by 3. So it is 2 by root 3 and denominator 2 by 3 is going to become 3 by 2. 2 to gaya. What is left? Root 3. And root 3 is the value of neither cos 60 nor sin 60 is the value of 10, 60. So what is your answer? Answer is 10, 60. Clear? That complete your second sum. Now third sum. You can help me in solving this sum. Or with my solution. You also compare your solution. 10a plus b. is given as root 3 and then a minus b is given as 1 by root 3 and here both a and b are between 0 to 90 but the sum is less than or equal to 90 clear? what are equal to 90? find a and b Now what to do? 10a plus b is root 3, root 3 matlab 10, 60. So, 10a plus b is 10, 60. So my a plus b is 60 degree. And 10a minus b is 1 by root 3, that is 10, 30. So my a minus b is 30. Let us solve. Add them. You will get 2a is 90. So a is 45. When a is 45 and a plus b is 60, your b will be 50. Clear? So a plus b is 60 here. Okay? And a minus b is 30. So that is your answer. Now sum number 4. You have to check whether they are true or false. It's a true false type question. And you have to justify your answer. First sum is sin a plus b is sin a plus sin b. Is it true or not? Sin a plus b is sin a plus sin b is not always true. Right? Suppose a is 30 degree and b is 90 degree. Then my LHS is sin 30 plus 60, so sin 90. That is 1. And my RHS is sin A, that is sin 30 plus sin 60. And it is 1 half plus root 3 by 2. 
So both are not equal. So it is not true. This is my justification, okay? This is my justification. This LHS and RHS. Now second, in support of my answer, I have given the reason, concrete reason, mathematical reason. <coughs> second is the value of sin theta. increases as theta increases. See the table. From table you observe that theta is 0, sin 0 is 0. Theta is 30, sin 30 is 1 half. 45 1 by root 2, then root 3 by 2 and then it reaching from 0 to 1. So theta increases, my sin theta also increases. So from table it is true. In support, I can take sin takes value from 0 to 1. Zero to one as theta takes value from values from zero to ninety, okay? So theta increases from zero to ninety degree, sine increases from zero to one. So this statement is true. Third one the value of cos theta increases as theta decrease increases. It is a false statement. The value of cos theta increases, this is symbol for increases, as theta increases. This is a false statement. Why it is false statement? Because cos takes value from one to zero. As theta takes value from 0 to 90 degree, cos takes value from 1 to 0, matlab cos decreases as theta increases. So this is a false statement. For some, sin theta is cos theta for all values of theta. No. Sin theta is cos theta when theta is 45 degree. Not for all theta. Sin is cos when both angles are complementary. Not for same theta. 45 and 45 are complementary. So only for one theta, sin is cos. So statement is false. And last fifth statement is Cote is not defined For A is 0 degree. Yes, it is true. Because tan 0 is 0, so cot 0 is not defined. So it is true. Because tan A is 0, tan 0 is 0, so cot 0 is not defined. Clear? So that complete your exercise 8.2. Let me check the truthness of this statement. We have done it correctly or not. 8.2 First is false. Second is true. Third is false. Fourth is false. Fifth is two are true, three are false.